Hey everybody, welcome to Bevner Video Podcast. This is episode 54 for August 8, 2011. I'm your host, Jason Coleman, and I want to apologize for the brief, brief break period that we had in the shows. Uh, switched vending routes at work, and I've lamented about this before in the past, very recently, that I've been working lots and lots of hours, come on, kind of tired. Um, but I'm going to be doing an episode right now, and then after that, another episode after that. All in one night. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm going to not edit these videos. I'm just going to try to go through straight through from start to finish and try some drinks and snacks that have been sitting around my house collecting dust or not. Um, what I've been eating or drinking in the last two weeks or so, I have picked up an old classic, something that I remember from my childhood. I've been drinking some Ovaltine. Um, breakfast Hot Pockets, those are actually pretty good. Cliff Granola Crunchy Granola Bars, uh, Healthy Choice Dinners, um, usually the ones that are recommended on Freezer Burns. If you like this kind of show, you would definitely like FreezerBurns.com. Greg does a great job over there. And I had a nice, cold Buffalo Rock Spicy Ginger Ale today as well. Um, so if you haven't already, like it on Facebook. That's Facebook.com slash BevNerd. Follow us on Twitter at BevNerd. And follow my co-host of BevNerd21+. Plus. J Bear, that's at J Bear underscore 83, and he'll be joining us with another beer review as soon as he can. Um, and also, I had pork skins for the first time not pork rinds, but the little tough skins. Uh, I like those, I'll show those to you a little bit later. As far as what we're trying today, we're going to be trying drink wise, we're gonna be trying two drinks from Cascade Ice, these are two calories each. They are natural flavored spring, sparkling water with juice. We'll talk about those later. And as far as our snacks today, I always like the I like this company a lot. They have some pretty good products, very unique flavors, and always seem to grab them up at Walmart or if we're carrying them at our workplace for our vending machines. Um, I thought I had seen them all from hers chips or hers, you know, snacks in general. But this one caught my eye at Walmart. It was $2 for this gigantic bag. I was like, what is this? Here's the flavor that intrigued me. These are grilled sweet corn, I'm sorry, fire roasted sweet corn potato chips. So, um, yeah. Is that going to be like a corn chip? No? I don't know. It's a potato chip. That should be pretty interesting as well. So, hey, listen. We're joining forces with a website that you should check out right now because I just did in my mind. It's www.guysnation.com it's a website that's dedicated to beer reviews, uh, movies, um, professional wrestling, sports, anything that's uh, you want to find out if you should check it out with your bros you want to check it out at guysnation.com another home for bevner.com and I appreciate it and the Bevner Video Podcast will have the beer reviews up there as well so check that out they're also on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff so thank you to them for hooking up with Bevner um, but anyways, let's try some of these drinks. It's been a, quite a hot day, quite a humid Alabama Sunday afternoon. I sweat about two gallons today, so I think I need to refresh myself. Um, let's talk about Cascade Ice. I get a nice zoom in. It's a nice slim bottle. This is a 17.2 ounce. That's a kind of an odd like size for a bottle. It's either 16 or 20 ounce or 24. Uh, it's a nice slim design. Um, but it'll kind of—I think it would kind of rattle around in your cup holder. But since it's a bottle, it'll be okay. But Cascade Ice Waters, um, in general, are two-calorie, sugar-free, flavored sparkling water that eliminates all the unnecessary, unhealthy extras found in other flavored waters like sugar, sodium, carbs, caffeine, and gluten. These are available in four different categories and a wide, wide variety of flavors, including up to 40 different flavors. I'm not going to name them all, but you can check them all out. And the pictures, I like, I like the way the bottle looks. It's got the pictures of the real fruit, and they're nice and brilliant, and I like it. So you can check them out at CascadeIceWater.com. Uh, you can also find out where to buy it with the store locator and all that stuff. They're from Everett, Washington. So, yeah, there you go. Um... Here I have in my hand right now is Huckleberry Blackberry. I'm very uh, accustomed to knowing what blackberries taste like. I have no idea what a Huckleberry. The only thing I know is like Huckleberry Hound and Flynn. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, let's talk about the ingredients. It's got two calories per serving and there's 2.2 servings per bottle. 
uh, no fat, no sodium, no carbs, no protein. Ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, pear juice concentrate, natural flavor, potassium benzoate, which is a preservative, potassium citrate, sucralose, red 40, blue 1, and yellow 5 to create this color. Mm, it's nice and carbonated. Nice and fizzy. Oh, it already smells good. It's got a very, very nice deep berry flavor. Mm. It's very sweet. And it's actually got some like consistency to it. It's not like super light as far as the, uh, the flavor in your mouth or the flavor when it hits your tongue and the weight of it. It's kind of weighty. Uh, this actually feels like a full flavored soda when you taste it. Got a slight, slight uh, diety aftertaste, but if you're used to diet drinks, you're not going to really notice it. It's not very strong. Uh, this is very good. Um, it tastes very high quality. It actually tastes like you can actually get the juice from there, even though it's only 1% fruit juice per bottle. It's pretty nice. You definitely get like I guess huckleberry is kind of like a cranberry, but not as like bitter or tart. Um, it's mixed what mixes very well with the blackberry. I like it. Hmm. It's only two calories per bottle. Definitely tastes more than a two calorie drink. So if you're watching your calories or all the stuff that I talked about earlier, check this out. It's kind of good. I like it. All right, we're gonna take a break and try these hers fire roasted sweet corn potato chips. Um, Got this big bag from Walmart, and as you know, I've covered other HERS products in the past. So, if you want to reference uh, an earlier podcast where you can get more information about the HERS company itself, I think it's episode 26 where I try the creamy dill pickle chip, which is still in my top two potato chips that are dill flavored. Hmm, doesn't really have much of a smell to it, it just smells kind of like potato chips, plain. Wow, that's weird. I'm going to be straight up. That scared me. At first, when I took a bite, I didn't really get much of anything. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I got a rush of butter flavor on my palate. Definitely different. It's so odd. And here's why. You get the butter flavor. It's like biting into a corn on the cob. You bite into it, you first taste that butter, the melted butter on top. And as you as, as, as you begin, as you continue to bite through the corn, you get the corn taste. And I'm getting this from this chip, and it's kind of weird. It's definitely not bad at all. It's very interesting. It almost feels like I got the butter all over my lips, too. It's crazy. Um, I do like this. I have the feeling, though... I won't be able to finish the, the entire bag because I might get kind of sick of the, the of the flavor. Here you go, Lulu. They can try it too. But yeah, I mean, it's like it's not like a corn chip, like a Frito or anything at all. It's really the flavor is just like like a, a corn on the cob with butter on it. Um, there's no like salt and pepper taste to it, um, and you don't really get like the fire grilled like maybe like charcoal -y or you know you know when you have like some uh, well done pieces of corn on there. It's very strange. However, if you're interested in interesting t and unique flavors, you want to check out hers fire roasted corn, sweet corn. Because it is, it is sweet, but it has more of the butter and corn flavor and sweets just a little bit. It's pretty interesting. Can't stop eating this. Because like whenever you eat it, you're like, hey, I'm eating potato chip, but then like, once it starts turning into mush in your mouth, then it's like, am I eating corn or not? It's very good. Way to go, hers. You always make unique stuff, and I like it. Keep up the good work. Um, up next, we're going to take it home with Cascade Ice Water once again, except this time, coconut. And for you, those of you at home that know me, I love some coconut flavors. Uh, uh, Twix coconut's very good. I also like those like coconut bars you find at gas stations. They look like they're from the 80s or 70s, where it's like the white, yellow, and red co uh, coconut bar. Yeah, those are the bomb. I like those so much. They're so bad for you. Anyways, um, same thing uh, as far as the ingredients and stuff. I think there might be some.
Glycerol ester of wood rosin. Crap is that? The only rosin I remember is whenever I was like in strings and you would rosin your bow. Anyways, it's got a nice like gray or like cloudy watery looking color. Oh wow, that smells really good though. It definitely tastes like a coconut soda. Um, I know it's a sparkling water, but these things don't taste like those Mamby Pamby sparkling waters that you find at like Walmart or whatever. These have way more flavor to them. They 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 drink like a soda with only two calories. Um, this one, this one, I, I really can't tell the diet aftertaste at all. That's very much a plus. Um, however. That coconut is really there. Um, not as good coconut as um, I've had in the past with other drinks um, before. But however, it does taste good. And especially with two calories with no sugar, you really can't go wrong with this. Um, definitely check this out if you like coconut at all. I would recommend it as well. Hmm. I would recommend it, but it's not the best coconut soda ever. I don't really, I don't really know what it is. But uh, that one's um, that one's that one's okay. That one's good. I think I'm actually gonna go with the Huckleberry Blackberry as far as the one that tastes better today, just because I um, I've had better coconut products before, but they both taste good. This one just tastes better. Anyways, that about wraps up for this straightforward episode of Bevner Video Podcast. Hey, check out my shirt, Harry Otter. You get it? Anyways, uh, send me an email at bevner at gmail.com. Hey, and if you like wrestling. Check out on Facebook, IWA Deep South. They are a wrestling show based out of Alabama. And the next DVD, I do all the commentary. So if you like my voice and want to hear me be funny, uh, not like I'm not now, right? Um, you want to check that out. I'll give you all a sneak peek on some video clips from that show whenever I get the DVD myself. Bye, everybody.